Wow, I'm kind of wearing a sweatshirt today because it is cool here in Minnesota. Uh, we have quite a temperature change here. And well, here in Minnesota, we try not to do some of these things I'm gonna list until October or maybe November. Um, but yesterday, it it came fast with some cold temperatures. And so we turn on the fireplace, it turn on the heater, uh, the furnace in the house, and put extra layers of blankets on the bed. I even had to turn on the heated seat in my car as I was driving home uh, last night. And so some of the times here are changing. And for us in Minnesota, that means snow and colder temperatures. But we're thankful that we have those opportunities to put on extra layers and extra warmth. And I know some of you are living in places where you won't see temperatures in the 40s um, ever. And so, but uh, we celebrate that God has given us uh, different climate regions across the world that we can all enjoy and that we can live in them and celebrate them to the fullest. Well, when we think about these changing times, I kind of went back to Proverbs and here Solomon gives us some words of wisdom of what's happening. And I think it's a good reminder for us too that the the cooling times sometimes is a little refresher for us. And this is what it says here in Proverbs chapter 25, verse 13. Like the cold of snow in the time of harvest is a faithful messenger to those who send him. He refreshes the soul of his masters. Back during this time when it was really hot and it was the harvest time, sometimes a blanket of snow would come. And so they would gather that snow, put them in vessels, and then they would tuck it underneath ground to keep their, their beverages and other things cool. And so that was a refreshing time when they're out in the heat and randomly it would snow. And so Solomon uses these words here um, to really remind us that uh, th sometimes things just happen and then there's a purpose for it. Like that snow was a purpose to keep the things cool underground for a duration of time. But then it goes on is a faithful messenger to those who send him. He refreshes the souls of his masters. And again, some at that same time, people, masters would send out messengers uh, to deliver messages, to send things out. And it was always refreshing when he would come back and he was there. Well, that's, I think about us. I think about that Christ has, has called us to go out, to go out and be his messengers and to send that message out to wherever. And no matter what climate and temperature it is either. And so my question for you here today as we ponder that is, how do you feel that Christ has called you to go out? Where has he placed you to share his message? Where has he allowed you to be the hands and feet of him in your workplace, in the community, um, internationally, wherever? And so again, it refreshes him as he knows that he has called you to go out and be his messenger, uh, no matter the climate. And so Mike, I just want you to ponder that today as you listen and as you reflect on this verse about how is he using you to deliver his message? And maybe who has he put into your life that um, he wants you to deliver that message to as well. So have a great day. Stay warm. Um, bundle up. Uh, drink some hot chocolate, some coffee, and be thinking about how God uses you to deliver his message each and every day. Have a good one, guys.